Luther Strange is the newest member of the U.S. Senate. He's from Alabama. He took the seat that Jeff Sessions vacated when he became AG. And he has drafted new legislation in the short time he's been here that would fund a wall on the Mexican border and would pay for it by diverting any federal transportation dollars currently going to sanctuary cities. Senator Strange joins us now to explain his plan. Senator, thanks for coming on. Glad to be here. So how does this work? Well, uh, it's all about the rule of law, building the wall, of course, which was the president's number one promise, and also uh, respecting, uh, making our cities uh, safer. So how yes. it works, in a, in a nutshell, is we identify sanctuary cities. Those are cities loosely defined that don't follow the law. They do not uh, cooperate with police. They don't yes. turn people in. Uh, and they also are now, we've turn, it turns out, uh, working with uh, preventing their citizens from actually even bidding on the wall, wall construction. So they said, if you want to bid on the wall to construct the wall, and we have a law that says we're going to build the wall, we're taking bids to build it, they come in and say, if you do that, uh, citizen, you're going to be banned from doing any work in the city of San Francisco, just for example. Exactly. So our simple solution is, if you're not going to comply with the law, we are a nation uh, based on the rule of law, then we're going to use that money to build the wall. You just won't get it. That's a lot. I mean, transportation funding for a state like California is enormous federal funding. So, do you, I mean, do you think that the Senate would actually back something like that? Well, the senators I've talked to, and I have support from my colleagues from Georgia, Wisconsin, we're building support for it, is that they can't believe in the United States this is actually going on. You know, yes. We're a nation of laws, Tucker, as you well know. And here we have cities saying, look, we just don't agree with the wall, so we're not only going to express our First Amendment rights, we're actually going to penalize citizens who are just trying to make a living. There are bids out to build the wall. I go in, uh, I live in San Francisco, I bid, my company bids to pave a parking lot along the wall, do something that contributes to that. Uh, I'm going to be paid by the federal government under the Secure Fences Law, a law that was passed in 2006 with the support, if you can believe it, of Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton and yeah. others, a common sense solution. We're just, we don't agree with that policy, we're not going to enforce the law. and. Uh, I just don't think it makes any sense for United States taxpayers to turn around and give those jurisdictions money when they're refusing to cooperate and actually going forward and punishing their own citizens for trying to make a living, frankly, but also build a wall which the American people want and need. And which they voted for, the representatives did. So here's what I understand. We've had two times in American history mass resistance to federal law. Once wound up with the Civil War, the other wound up with tanks in various cities around the South, the Civil Rights Movement. Right. You're seeing something similar brewing right now. We're elected officials. I'm ignoring federal law. Right. Where does this wind up? Where is this going? Well, that's the, that's the crux of the matter. Where does it end? And, and we already know in immigration law, that's one of the things we can all agree on. It's a federal responsibility. Yes. The federal government decides what our immigration policy is, what our naturalization policy is. We don't have every city, town, village, and state determining what the qualifications are to live here, what our borders are going to look like. That is a national debate that we're having. So it really goes back Tucker, to the rule of law. Are we going to be a nation of laws or not? Uh, and it's not only a, a principled matter, it's a matter of public safety. Uh, the people that are crossing the border and people are ignoring the wall and ignoring building it are making their cities less safe. But what about your colleagues in the Senate or across the way in the House? They're elected officials. You think they would stand up for federal prerogatives and the rule of law, and they're not. And they're not. It's hard to believe. I, it, part of it is a, uh, a continuation of the war on Trump, if, if I can use that term. It, you know, he won. He's done something extraordinary. He said, I'm going to actually fulfill the promise that I made. There's an existing law, a secure border law. We're going to fund it. We're going to build the wall. We're not only going to do that. We're going to, thanks to the great work of Jeff Sessions, we're going to enforce our laws. Yeah. What if just a simple solution to the immigration problem, for starters, is to enforce the existing laws on the books. They've said they're going to do that. That sounds like a novel <laughs> thought. No, it, it does. And, and you know what's happened? Because they've just said that and they're actually doing it. But they've made it clear and that yeah. message doesn't just go to the border. It goes south of the border. It goes all throughout Central America. We're going to enforce the laws on the books in the United States. Illegal border crossings are down almost 40% right. in this country just since President Trump has taken it. It's not off. hard. We're well, already improving our city. You've been here like 20 minutes. Thank you, Senator. I appreciate <laughs> Thank it. you, Tucker, very much.